Hello, today I felt like making another of the little booklets where you decorate one sheet of paper and fold it and cut it and that forms all of the individual pages. I just found a spare piece of paper that I don't know exactly what size it is. It's not as thick as cartridge paper. I made a video not long ago which I'll link to in the description box below where I'd made another of these little books using cartridge paper and I had a little bit of difficulty folding it. So I thought I'd experiment with a slightly thinner paper this time. So this sheet of paper that I'm painting will get folded into sixteenths. And so I'm not too worried about the overall look of the design. Because when the book is made, you'll never see it as a whole. At this stage, I'm just making sure that there'll be enough interest in each section of the page. With the last book I made, it was quite abstract in design. But this time I thought I'd go for a brighter floral type theme. I'm just having fun here using watercolours with big soft brushes and making up the design as I go along. Now I'm doing some more mark making with tempera paint sticks and a bit later I also use coloured pencils. I mainly use Derwent Inktense pencils dipped in water for quite bold marks.
So you can see that I cover one side of the paper quite densely with pattern. And here I am now folding it into sixteenths. I use a bone folder to try and get quite neat, accurate folds. And I also bend the folds in both directions. I then need to cut the paper into a kind of big M shape. I've got slightly more detailed instructions in the previous video that I did on this, again, which I'll link to in the description box below. Once I cut the M shape, I can start folding up the booklet. I just start at one end and fold backwards and forwards all the way along. I bone fold all the creases again as I go. What will be the front and back covers of the book are plain because they were on the back of the paper. And so I did paint a little design on the front and back, as you can see on the booklet to the right hand side of the screen. But because the paper is quite thin, it was a little bit wrinkly and it didn't look so great. So what I'm doing here is painting another sheet of cardboard with a design. And from this, I'm going to cut a new front and back cover and just stick them on. So now I'm going along and sticking all the backs of the pages to each other. This might look slightly complicated here, but actually it's quite straightforward when you've got the booklet in front of you. You can naturally see where the pages need to go. And here's my new back cover going on. I then trim down a couple of the pages which weren't quite even. I decide to put some book binding tape over the spine and here I'm just cutting it down a bit narrower so that it doesn't impinge into the front and back cover designs too much. I'll try and put product links to most of the things I use in the description box below. And here's my finished little book. The pages are slightly wrinkly because I used thinner paper, but I don't think it's too bad. And it's so nice looking through the pages and seeing how all the different designs have turned out. I think it's just a really fun little project to do. It took me just over an hour altogether. And here's the little book I made previously. This is the first one that I ever made. As I said, it's more abstract in design and I did it on a thicker cartridge paper. So the pages are quite sturdy. You can do these on any size paper and obviously you'll get different sized pages. 
You can see the different thickness of the booklets based on the different thickness of the papers that I used. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing me make another one of these. It's just a really enjoyable thing to do. In the comments on my previous video, people gave really nice suggestions for how to use the books, such as putting favourite quotes or uplifting messages to people and giving them as gifts. You've also got the option of making these booklets out of plain paper and using them as little sketchbooks. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate everyone who likes my videos and subscribes and interacts with me in the comments. Bye!